Hi there, in this video we're going to discuss differential equations. Okay, so first of all, what is meant by uh, a differential equation? So I've prepared a series of screenshots. So here's the first screenshot. So any equation containing a differential coefficient, so by differential coefficient I mean um, dy over dx, d2 over dx squared, d3 over dx cubed, etc, etc. These are what we call differential coefficients. It's called a differential equation. So remember, any equation containing a differential coefficient is called a differential equation. So by differential coefficient, remember, dy over dx, we've seen that before, dy over dx, we call that the first differential coefficient or the first derivative with respect to x. d2 over dx squared, this is called a second differential coefficient or the second derivative with respect to x. d3y over dx cubed, that is known as the third differential coefficient or the third derivative with respect to x. And we could go on and on with this but dny by dx to the n, okay, so this is what we call the nth differential coefficient or the nth derivative with respect to x, okay. So let me give you some examples of differential equations. So here's one such example, uh, the equation dy over dx plus 3y is equal to x cubed and this is called a first order differential equation and the reason why this is first order is because the highest differential coefficient is dy over dx. And remember, dy over dx is the first differential coefficient. Okay. Uh, another example, the equation d2y over dx squared plus dy over dx plus 10y equals x squared plus 1. This is called a second order differential equation because the highest differential coefficient is d2 over dx squared, okay? And remember, d2 over dx squared is the second differential coefficient, okay? So always look at the highest differential coefficient in order for you to class what type of differential equation you have, okay? Now, the idea of differential equations is that we need to find a solution for y in terms of x, and this involves some form of integration. So we'll be using our integration knowledge in order to help us uh, get the solution to uh, the differential equation in question. And each differential equation uh, has its own unique method in order to determine its solution. So for a first order differential equation, so we're gonna see first order differential equations in this video, they require a particular method and in the next video, we're going to see another class of differential equation. That class of differential equation has its own unique method. And in a video after that, we're going to be seeing a second order differential equation. And for second order differential equations, they require uh, another method in order to work out the solution for y in terms of x. OK, so each differential equation has its own uh, has its own unique method okay so f first order differential equations so a first order differential equation is any equation of the form py dy over dx equals q of x and py is any function in terms of y and qx is any function in terms of x okay so that is very important so the important thing is to recognize what equation, what, what differential equation you have. And this is how you would recognize a first order differential equation. It's any equation of the form py dy over dx equals qx. OK. So let me talk to you about the method and then we'll go through the method with the aid of an example. So here's the method. So if you're given um, a first order differential equation of the form py dy over dx equals q of x, the first step is to use a method what we call separating the variables, okay? So let me explain separating the variables. So by separating the variables, we mean writing on one side of the equation all terms involving y's and dy's 
while on the opposite side of the equation we write all of the terms involving x and dx. Okay, So y and dy terms on one side of the equation, x and dx terms on the opposite side of the equation. Okay, So I kept it general here, so py dy appears on one side, qx dx appears on the opposite side. Okay, So remember py up means all of the terms involving y, qx means all of the terms involving x. And in the last step, the last step is step number two. So in step number two, we basically integrate both sides using our integration knowledge in order to find our solution to our first order differential equation. Okay. So let's go back to the paper in pen. Let's try this method out. So here's example number one. Uh, solve the following differential equations. So in part A, I have y dy over dx equals x plus 2. Okay. So if we go quickly back to the method. So remember, step number one is we need to write all of the y and dy terms on one side and the x and dx terms on the opposite side. Okay. So over here we have y dy by dx equals x plus 2. So I'm going to keep my x plus 2 uh, in a bracket. Okay. So here is step number 1. So let me separate the variables. So by separating variables. So regard dy over dx as a fraction, okay, so think of it as a fraction, dy over dx. So in this case, I'm going to write this as y dy, okay, so I'm going to keep my y and dy on the left-hand side, left side of the equation. And the x plus 2, as well as the dx, on the right-hand side of this equation, okay. So regard dy over dx as a fraction. And keep your y's and dy's on one side and keep your x's and dx's on the other side. So I like to keep my y and dy terms on the left hand side and x and dx terms on the right hand side. But it doesn't matter as long as the y's and dy's appear on one side, the x's and dx terms appears on the other side. Okay. So that is what step number one is about. So if we go back to the screenshot. Remember step number two, we need to integrate both sides of the equation uh, in order to find the solution. So back to the paper and pen. So now we need to integrate. So integrate both sides. So we need to integrate the left hand side y with respect to y. We need to integrate the right hand side x plus 2 with respect to x. Okay. So if we integrate y with respect to y, that's y squared over 2. So that's pretty straightforward. And if we integrate x plus 2 with respect to x, so if I integrate x, that's x squared over 2. If I integrate 2, it's 2x. And then add c, add C on one side, so I like to add C on the right hand side, okay? So that is the general solution to your differential equation, okay? So this is the general solution. Okay? And that is it, okay? So that is how you would work out the solution to a first order differential equation. So remember, step number one, separate the variables. Step number two, integrate both sides, okay? So let's try another one. So in this case, we have the equation dy over dx plus 2x cosec y is equal to zero. So 
let's have a look at this one dy of dx plus 2x cosec y is equal to zero okay so let's let's see first of all whether we have a first order differential equation over here okay so let's try and write this in the form py dy over dx is equal to qx so let's do a check let's see whether this is a first order differential equation because if we can write this equation in this form then we can use separating the variables okay so in the previous example it's already of this type okay so in the previous example our equation is of the form py dy over dx equals q of x okay so that classes this equation that we have here in part a as being a first order differential equation and for first order differential equation we need to use separating the variables okay so let's see whether we have a first order differential equation here so first of all let me take the 2x cosec y to the right hand side so dy over dx is equal to minus 2x cosec y okay and now let me bring my y term to the left hand side okay and bring any x term and keep that on the right hand side okay so i'm going to take this cosec y term and bring it to the left hand side so i'm going to have 1 over cosec y dy over dx so i brought that y term the cosec y term to the left hand side okay and I'm going to keep the x terms on the right hand side so minus 2x okay now 1 over cosec we know is sine so since 1 over cosec is sine or sine y in this case I can rewrite this as sine y dy by dx and that's equal to minus 2x okay so as you can see over here this equation that we have is of the form py dy over dx equals q of x so the py term is sine y and the qx term is minus 2, 2x so remember py is any function in terms of y only qx is any function in terms of x only so over here we've got a first order differential equation so that means that we can use separating the variables to find its solution okay so here's step number one so remember back to the screenshot step number one is to write the y and dy terms on one side of the equation write the x and dx terms on the opposite side of the equation okay so back to the paper and pen so again regard dy over dx as a fraction so I'm going to keep my sine y and dy term on the left hand side and I'm going to keep the minus 2x and the dx term on the right hand side okay so this is what step one is about separating the variables and if we go back to the screenshot quickly step number two integrate both sides of the equation to find its solution okay so back to the paper and pen so if we integrate both sides okay so we need to integrate the left hand side so we need to integrate sine y with respect to y and we also need to integrate the right hand term minus 2x with respect to x okay so we all know hopefully how to integrate sine so when we integrate sine it's minus cos and when you integrate minus 2x it's minus 2x squared divided by 2 and add the c on one side so i like to add the c on the right hand side okay so these two twos can cancel giving us minus cos y that's equal to minus x squared add c 
So once again, this solution that we have here, this is the general solution. Okay? So that completes this example. Okay, so once again, the very first step, before you start step number one, first investigate whether your equation is indeed first order. So first, uh, rearrange your equation, try and see whether you can make it in the form py dy over dx equals q of x, because if you can rearrange it in that form, then the equation that you have is a first order differential equation, which means that you need to use separating the variables to find the solution to that equation, okay? If you can't rearrange it in that form, you might have, or you might just have um, uh, another class of differential equation, which means that you need to use another particular method, okay? So, let's try another example.